Ballet is for everyone, and now it's for anyone who has a computer. We're Anaheim Ballet. This is More Than Dance, Season 2. Hey guys, we're continuing with the series, and what is a variation? Well, a variation is basically a solo, and a classical variation is kind of like a rite of passage in the ballet world. Whether it's in front of friends and family at your school's recital, or on stage in front of thousands with a company, at some point in your balletic life, you're going to do a classical variation. These folks are working on them right now, and they've been nice enough to let us follow their progress. And that's what this series is really about. Progress. It's not so much about tricks or athleticism, which you'll see some cool stuff, but it's really about the journey. So all aboard. What's going on, Adrian? When I first started doing these variations, I tended to be a little difficult you know, technically just because um, a lot of the movements are, they're so much different than actually doing um, class work. It's, it's actually movements that are supposed to be very difficult. They're really hard, and I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to do them very well, but um, I'm working on them, and it'll get better, I hope. <laughs> when I first was learning the variation, the hardest part is when it doesn't go well and you still have to continue to do it and still make it look like you didn't mess up even though inside you want to beat yourself up. <laughs> well, I learned it off of video, which was kind of difficult because the girl was kind of like fuzzy and you can't really make out what she was doing, so it was really hard. Crazy, these variations are like insane. I, uh, I'm really scared because I have to do a lot of crazy turns and crazy jumps and I'm kind of intimidated. Oh! In La Female Gardet, I am basically a peasant girl whose mother is really strict and I have to work in the fields all the time. So when I get to go out and, and sneak out of the house and hang out with my friends, I'm really flirtatious and spunky. And it's really fun because I just get to totally be my own character, which is, <laughs> it's, it's a fun one to portray because it's actually a lot like me. In The Flames of Paris, the character is a revolutionary. And in La Female Gardet, it's a love story. Flames of Paris, that's the spicy one because I am a French revolutionary. I'm very like storming of the Bastille, like go for it. Diana is the goddess of the hunt, so she's a huntress. She carries a bow, so she's very like determined in all her movements. She knows what she wants and she's gonna get it. But Paquita is one of the slower ones and that's really different from Diana. So it's good because I have two different ones to work with and I could do the fast movements with Diana and then the slow ones with Paquita. Passion is powerful because it's like electricity coming out of your fingers and so like you're like bam, bam, bam. And so that was like everything had to be strong and like hold and like okay, I'm here, you know? And um, Satanella is totally different. It's really soft. And it's like, you're kind of flirting too. So you're like flirting with the guy like, hello, you know? So that was good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jelana. I like movement in the upper body a lot. Mr. Balanchy was always honest for that. I have an arm gesture like that. My name is Alexander Grishenka. I can my glasses any time. No, no. Straight line. That's next week on a very special More Than Dance. <laughs> hey guys, this has been Anaheim Ballet More Than Dance, the world's first weekly ballet video podcast and YouTube channel. Quick thank you to everyone who's been writing us reviews on our iTunes page. That's really cool. And as always, thank you to everyone who rates our videos and comments. All the support really does help us out. We are a 501c3 not-for-profit organization. Well, we've got about two more episodes left in this series, then we're going to close out with a cool concept video, and then we're going to take a little break. So stay tuned. We'll be back next week. Thanks so much, guys.